As the Buddha once wisely shared, you will not be punished for your anger, you will be punished by your anger. But how do we attain such inner tranquility in the face of life's challenges? In the realm of timeless wisdom, we explore a lesson that invites us to act as if nothing bothers us. Join us as we delve into the profound teachings of Buddhism and embark on a journey toward inner serenity. Principle 1. Listen twice as much as you speak. Our first lesson delves deep into the transformative power of listening. This isn't just about hearing words, but about truly understanding the essence behind them. Buddha once beautifully articulated this concept, saying, To understand everything is to forgive everything. This profound statement highlights the deep connection between understanding and compassion. When we listen more and speak less, we embark on a journey of greater empathy and comprehension. It's about actively engaging with the world around us, not just passively hearing it. By doing so, we allow ourselves to truly connect with the emotions, thoughts, and experiences of others. This practice opens our hearts to the intricate tapestries of human experience, weaving a bond of understanding that transcends mere words. Moreover, listening more than we speak doesn't diminish our voice. Instead, it enhances the quality of our interactions. When we do speak, our words are more thoughtful, informed, and resonant. They come from a place of deep understanding, not just superficial acquaintance with the subject. This art of listening extends beyond personal conversations. It involves listening to the world around us, to nature, to silence, to the unspoken words of those who may not have a voice. In doing so, we develop a broader perspective of the world, a panorama of diverse viewpoints and experiences. This not only enriches our understanding but also fosters a sense of inner peace and wisdom. By listening twice as much as we speak, we unlock a universe of understanding. We learn to perceive the unspoken, to empathize with the unheard, and to connect with the unseen. This opens doors to deeper connections not just with others, but also with ourselves. It is through this profound listening that we begin to understand the intricacies of life, the subtleties of human emotion, and the profound truths that govern our existence. As we listen, we grow in understanding, in compassion, and in wisdom. Principle 2. Don't allow the comments and attitudes of others to control your life. Imagine your life as a unique journey, like an adventurous hike through a beautiful forest. Along this path, you come across people who have their own opinions and attitudes, much like different signposts or directions in that forest. Now Buddha, who was known for his profound wisdom, once shared this guidance. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. What does this mean? It means that your focus should be on the now. Just like when you're hiking, you pay attention to the trail you're on. The lesson here is about finding your own way on your life's path without getting lost in the thoughts and judgments of others. Sometimes, people may have their own ideas about what you should do, or they might have comments about your choices. While it's natural to consider advice, it's equally important to remember that your journey is yours to navigate. Just like you wouldn't let someone else choose your hiking path for you, don't let others decide your life's direction. This lesson encourages you to follow your own heart and values, to stay true to who you are, and to make choices that resonate with your inner wisdom. By doing so, you remain the captain of your own life, charting a course that feels right to you, regardless of what others might say or think. It's about finding your own unique path and walking it with confidence and authenticity. Principle 3. Be ready to accept the worst. Life is like a winding river, sometimes calm, and other times turbulent. The Buddha, with his profound wisdom, once shared a powerful insight. Pain is certain. Suffering is optional. What does this mean? It means that while we can't escape life's challenges and difficulties, we have the power to choose how we respond to them. Imagine life as a series of waves, each one representing a different situation or problem. Some waves are small, like minor inconveniences, while others can be towering giants, like significant setbacks or losses. Now, here's the key. Accepting the worst doesn't mean expecting the worst all the time or living in constant fear. 
It means being prepared for those challenging moments that inevitably come our way. Think of it as having a life jacket on a boat. We hope we won't need it, but it's there just in case. When we are mentally prepared to accept the worst, we become like that life jacket for our minds. We don't let fear of the unknown or the fear of failure control us. Acceptance is like a shield that protects us from the sharp arrows of suffering when life throws its challenges at us, as it often does. Our acceptance acts as a buffer. We may feel pain, but we don't add unnecessary suffering by resisting what's happening or dwelling on what went wrong. Acceptance is not a surrender to defeat, it's a recognition of reality. It's acknowledging that, just as the river has its twists and turns, life has its ups and downs. By embracing this truth, we find inner peace even in the face of adversity. So, in practical terms, being ready to accept the worst means cultivating resilience and inner strength. It means understanding that setbacks are part of the journey, and they can lead to growth and wisdom. It means facing life's challenges with equanimity, knowing that you have the power to navigate the waters, no matter how rough they may become. By being ready to accept the worst, we not only find peace in adversity, but also discover our own inner strength and capacity for growth. Principle 4. Don't be afraid of failing, because it is the only way to progress. Buddha, the great spiritual teacher, once shared profound wisdom. Each morning, we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. These words remind us that each day is a fresh start, a chance to grow and learn. The lesson here is about embracing failure not as something to fear, but as a valuable stepping stone on our journey of self-improvement. Imagine life as a series of steps, and each step represents a day in your life. Some steps may be smooth and easy, while others may have bumps and obstacles. When we encounter challenges or make mistakes, it's like stumbling on one of those steps. But here's the beautiful part. Every stumble, every fall, is an opportunity to rise stronger. Think of it this way. When you're learning to walk, you don't give up the first time you fall. Instead, you get back up, take another step, and with each attempt, you become more stable and confident. In the same way, facing failure and making mistakes is how we learn and progress in life. Every mistake we make is like a teacher showing us what we need to improve. It's a lesson in wisdom and resilience. Just as a sculptor shapes a beautiful sculpture from a block of stone by chiseling away the unnecessary parts, our failures and mistakes help shape us into wiser, more capable individuals. So, don't be afraid to take risks. Try new things and accept that failure is a natural part of growth. Embrace your mistakes, for they hold the keys to your progress. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you rise, each time stronger and wiser than before. This is the path to personal growth and self-discovery, and it all starts with the courage to face failure head-on. Principle 5. Keep it simple. Finding clarity and peace in simplicity, we discover a profound truth that clarity and peace are often found in the simplest aspects of life. Buddha, the great teacher, once imparted his wisdom, saying, the way is not in the sky. The way is in the heart. This lesson encourages us to embrace a life focused on what truly matters, stripping away unnecessary complexities and distractions. Imagine your life as a beautiful garden. In this garden, there are many flowers, but not all of them need your attention. Some are vibrant and bring joy, while others may be wilting and draining your energy. Keeping it simple means tending to the flowers that truly nourish your soul and letting go of the ones that burden you. It's like cleaning a cluttered room. When you remove the excess, you create space for the essential things to shine. In the same way, simplifying your life allows you to prioritize your values, relationships, and inner well-being. Living simply doesn't mean a lack of ambition or settling for less. Instead, it's about discerning what truly aligns with your heart's desires and aspirations. It's about letting go of the constant need for more and instead finding contentment in the present moment. Consider the serene beauty of a clear, starry night. The vastness of the sky may seem complex, but the beauty lies in its simplicity. 
Each star shines with clarity, and the quietude of the night brings peace. Similarly, when we declutter our lives and focus on what truly matters, we experience a similar sense of clarity and peace within our hearts. So, as you navigate life's journey, remember the wisdom of simplicity. Embrace what brings you joy and peace, and let go of the unnecessary burdens that cloud your path. In simplicity, you'll discover the true essence of a meaningful and harmonious life. Principle 6. Practice Humility in Your Life Buddha once shared profound wisdom, saying, A man is not called wise, because he talks and talks again. But if he is peaceful, loving, and fearless, then he is in truth called wise. This lesson teaches us the value of humility, which is the quality of being modest and unassuming despite possessing wisdom or accomplishments. Humility is not about downplaying your knowledge or achievements, but about recognizing that true wisdom goes beyond mere words and boasts. It's about embodying qualities like peace, love, and fearlessness in your actions and interactions with others. When you practice humility, you become a living example of wisdom. Imagine a wise person, not because they speak eloquently or loudly, but because they radiate a sense of inner peace. They approach others with love and understanding, fostering genuine connections. They are fearless in the face of challenges, as humility allows them to see beyond their ego and embrace the interconnectedness of all beings. Humility opens the door to true understanding because it encourages active listening and a willingness to learn from others. It dissolves the barriers of arrogance and pride, creating a space for empathy and compassion to flourish. In practicing humility, you not only gain wisdom, but also become a source of inspiration and guidance for those around you. So let us remember that wisdom is not measured by the volume of our words, but by the depth of our humility. For it is through humility that we truly understand the world and share compassion with all living beings. Principle 7. Be aware of the dangers of fortune. As Buddha wisely shared, health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. These words guide us to seek fulfillment that goes beyond the accumulation of material possessions. In our pursuit of success and fortune, we often overlook the impermanence of material wealth. The cars we drive, the houses we live in, and the luxuries we enjoy are fleeting, subject to change and decay. While these comforts can bring temporary joy, they should not be the sole focus of our lives. True wealth, as Buddha suggests, lies in being content with what we have. Contentment is the ability to find peace and satisfaction in the present moment, appreciating the simple pleasures of life. A warm smile, a shared meal, a walk in nature. It is in these moments of contentment that we discover the richness of our existence. Additionally, Buddha reminds us that the most valuable treasures are found in the relationships we nurture. Faithfulness and genuine connections with others are the building blocks of a fulfilling life. In the company of loved ones, we find support, joy, and a sense of belonging that transcends material possessions. So, as we navigate the path of life, let us be aware of the dangers of becoming too attached to fortune and possessions. Instead, let us cherish our health, cultivate contentment in our hearts, and nurture faithful relationships. In doing so, we embrace a more profound and enduring form of wealth that can lead us to lasting happiness and inner peace. These teachings and the timeless wisdom encapsulated in the quotes from Buddha serve as a profound compass to navigate the complexities of life. They offer not just guidance, but also deep insights into how we can lead a life filled with wisdom and inner peace. No matter the challenges we encounter, we hope that this journey through these ancient teachings has shed light on the path to a more fulfilling and mindful existence. As you go about your daily life, May these teachings serve as a source of inspiration and strength. Remember that the lessons we've explored here are not mere concepts but practical tools you can use in your own life's journey. By embracing the wisdom of these teachings, you have the potential to find serenity, purpose, and a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Until we meet again, thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. May your days ahead be filled with clarity, kindness, and the profound wisdom of Buddha.